Today I'm going to show you how to create a leaderboard in your CRM analytics environment. This is not any other leaderboard. This leaderboard is going to include the profile pictures of your sales reps that they have uploaded in your Salesforce instance. If this sounds interesting, keep watching. Okay, so let's start by creating a data set that includes the opportunity amount. We'll also include the opportunity owner, but we also want to show the image, the profile picture that they uploaded in Salesforce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create recipes and I am going to add opportunity as my data set. So I'm going to search for opportunity data set. So there you go. I'm going to select this. Now this has about 35 columns selected. What I need is I need to make sure that it has amount. It does. And I also need the owner ID. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to click on next. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in another data set which is user and the reason I'm doing that is because the the profile picture URL for the user is on this particular object. So I'm going to go here click on user and now I want to see show only selected because I can see so I have user ID name department and so on. The column that I'm looking for is called uh, profile well, I think it's called URL. So it's not selected. So I'm going to click on URL and I need the full photo URL. Once I have this, I have, I can display the pictures of our sales rep. So I'm going to select this uh, and I'm going to click on next. Now these are two different data sources. So of course, what I'm going to do is I'm going to join this because I want the picture to be shown on the opportunity data set. So I'm simply going and going to drag and drop this and let's do it again happens sometimes and click on join. Now I'm going to give the correct criteria for joining. So I know it is owner ID and this should be just ID add. And then the final step is going to register. So I'm going to call it opportunity with user profile pick awesome let's just copy and paste this here and private app is fine apply and i am going to move my picture out of the way so that i can hit on save and run and i'm going to give the same recipe name click on save all right so the recipe has finished running now what we're going to do is i'm going to simply search for the data set that we registered as part of the recipe. I'm going to click on this data set so that we can start exploring it. Uh, I need the sum of amount. All right. Now I can go here and I can say I want the let's do full name. So I need the full name. Now if I do that, I get something like this. All right. What I really want is I want my name. Next to it, I want my picture. So let's say if I want to add the URL field here. This is how it looks like. Now this is not helpful. I want this particular link to be converted into a profile picture. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, click on compare table and I am going to remove this particular field from here. Okay. Now I'm going to click on add column, click on add formula and go here and select a function called first. So let's do that first. And the field that we're looking for is the user profile URL, I guess. So let's keep scrolling down. This is the one. That's it. Okay. Now I'm going to click on apply. Okay. Close. Let's move it here. Okay. So now I have full name, the photo URL and, and amount. Now when I go here, I still see the same thing. Now I'm going to click on this formatting option. Scroll down to Y axis. Scroll down. Click on use icons and now this is where magic happens. There you go. Now it is actually showing you 
their profile pictures that they uploaded in Salesforce. So what I can now do is I can simply clip to designer, uh, clip to designer, and I can bring this here. And there you go. This looks like a beautiful leaderboard. So I can add some text widget here. Um, leaderboard dashboard. So I hope you saw how easy it was to create a leaderboard with your user's profile picture. If you found this video helpful, please share this with your network, with your friends, with your colleagues. And as always, I would really, really love it if you can click the subscribe button. And I will see you next week with some more videos.